keeping the public and the officers in the Guam Police Department safe and accountable. Knowingly how helpful security cameras are, particularly to the women and men of GPD who put their lives on the line, and most, especially, most recently, how cameras have played an important role in the recent capturing an, of the unfortunate fatal robbery that took place in Tumon. Cameras no doubt will assist where manpower is lacking. Senator Tello Tadegui is the author of Bill 188. It broadens the use of the untouched $200,000 of appropriation monies allocated for security cameras in public areas to now be used to get the equipment for the police precincts. Not too long ago, allegations of police brutality in our community was brought to light. While it may be premature to take any side in this matter, it is clear that we need to do more to protect both the public and our law, law enforcement community. Senators on session floor aware of the assault complaint filed against an officer at the Dededo Precinct last September. There was an incident uh, recently in which um, an individual alleged uh, that, that they were mistreated uh, while at one of our uh, Guam Police Department precincts and uh, there was no video. Of that. The case involved the Patel couple, who at the time shared their story with KUAM. He went up to the window, uh, the door, and punched that door with rage and anger. And he said, "Who the f do you think you are? Who the f do you think you are?" And at this point, oh, I was uh, terrified. I was afraid of what I was seeing and witnessing. Police have since completed their investigation into the Patel case, but declined to release the results. The incident just one of others that led senators to push for this specific recording equipment to be installed. Senator Chris Barnett sees it as a companion measure to the recently passed bill that would equip police with body-worn cameras. Video recordings, uh, video interviews conducted by detectives go a long way to ensure accountability and transparency, uh, not just um, in the way that the officers are going to treat individuals that they're dealing with. But also on, on the flip side of that, when you have individuals who uh, make complaints or allegations that uh, sometimes uh, turn out to not be true. Speaker Therese Chalai also noting GPD only has two recording systems. Both are being used at GPD's headquarters in Tizen. So for every other precinct that's 24-7, where they are bringing people in, doing interviews, and... Um, there are none, no recording equipment. So this is going to help, I'm sure, it's going to help our entire community. It helps GPD uh, in their investigations. It helps prosecution in their prosecution. And it's going to help the public as well um, because these interviews will be recorded. And if there are any allegations of improper conduct, that those can easily be investigated. The bill was moved to the voting file Tuesday without any opposition. Senator Taidegui saying this is an opportunity to bring more security and trust to the people.